Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Planet Tyro for a book review that, you know, <laughs> it's been a long time since I did a book review if you've been following the channel as I've been doing these uploads. And you know what, this is a special one because this is kind of a request from a, a user that I'm going to put on the screen now. I believe his name is Abe. Thank you for the recommendation because when you gave me the synopsis of the book, I thought this is right up my alley. I like sci-fi, I like something of a, a more personal sci-fi story and especially I really like the book series Old Man's War. Guys, if you haven't checked out my review for that, I'll put a link in the top right hand corner so go back and check out that. And this seemed a lot like that, uh, you know, a very personal military story, a drama, an action drama which I really liked. And here's a basic premise again, I don't want to give any spoilers in this discussion, but basically Actually, I'm going to be very generic about it because I don't want to get into too much detail at all So, because I want to sell it to you guys. I think although it might not be for everyone, just hear me out. So basically, this is about a space military enlistee who gets drafted as a scout. A scout is someone who gets drafted into these wars into a very dangerous position. And this particular character, whose name is Felix, ends up in a situation kind of as a reluctant soldier but then as the series, as the book progresses, he turns into more of a withdrawn, disassociative character. And this book deals with him dealing with the trauma and the confinement of his big armor that he's stuck in and all of the the issues he deals with as he gets he keeps on getting drawn into these battles. I would say against his will, maybe there's even a conspiracy, but he is he's in a situation, an insane situation, and this has got to do with the psy psychological effect it has on this man as he keeps on being overrun by these aliens and he keeps on surviving and you know this is a very dry tale this is a very dry look at a person as they become more detached and you know this is a very personal story because i read the audiobook by the way i love the audiobook because the narrator did such a good job at just echoing the dryness and the kind of the dead coldness of this person as he just becomes more detached at the time I was reading the story, I was so there were so much things going on in my life, but this was a story that dragged me into the character's mindset. And again, the things that were going on with this, even with this war, with these bugs, the world building is even very light because we're more focused on the character. You know, through the story, it was very mysterious. Like, who is this guy? Where did he come from? And you don't really get those answers. You just get this guy thrown in these situations, surviving. And, you know, the act, the action scenes that are revealed to you are pretty good. And I have to say, they're, they're somewhat intense. You feel the confinement and the danger this character's in. And even after the battles where he survives, you just feel the the loss and feel the disassociativeness that he's feeling through all, these, through all these battles. And that's really cool. Now, my problem with the story was that if this was just a simple story of this guy going through this is fine but then the the book is broken up into parts and at a certain part the narrative breaks away into a separate part of characters which i didn't which kind of threw me because i was so into the book and you get thrown onto this other jack crow character now by the end it, it does come full circle and i guess i kind of liked it but to be honest with you this could have been just about felix in this in the mecha suit in the armor going through these things and meeting the people he meets along because it's not just him it's not just felix he meets other people he meets other soldiers and there's some bureaucracy going on as well and again this is a very simple story it's not like old man's war where you're your planet jumping and there's so many different characters now this is this is focused on the one character and the trauma and the dissociativeness of him and it was a good book to take me out of my own mind and it wasn't even boring this book was written in 1984 a year after i was born and listening to it i thought you know what i think books sci-fi books now today are a lot more spectacle but i like this very so kind of not too cerebral but i like this think piece i like this solo character just being with this guy and again if you i guess you can think of books like the martian again the martian is another story that i covered on the channel as well which is again focused on this one guy and his thoughts and his narration so in that way there's a similarity there but even in the martian they had a little bit more spectacle but this is a very personal book a very i, I wouldn't even say it's a book about trauma it's a book about a character going through something very slowly and taking you through that journey and honestly it might not be for everyone i'm not gonna lie because it does seem a bit slow at parts and 
the the parts where the narrative slides these other characters and slides back in honestly i could have just done it just being about felix but again i don't want to say too much and ruin the book for you but you know it's highly regarded people talk about this book in in high regard and i can see why i like the book you know i do i really do but i do have to say i don't think it's for everyone it's not just a, a casual read but a very personal read if I had to give it a rating, I would give it a low solid B. Very enjoyable. I thought I thought the audio book was fantastic. You know, just browsing on YouTube, I saw a lot of clips for the for the audio book on YouTube. But I do think some people might find this book a bit droll and a bit slow. You know, I'm just trying to be fair and let you guys know for warning. But if you listen to some of the samples of the book online, or if you want to buy it because it's, it's relatively a short read in my opinion, I think you'll get a lot out of it. But you know. If you hear what I said and you think you might enjoy it, then I would say definitely check it out. And I want to thank Abe, the person who commented, who recommended it to us, because honestly, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was just what I needed. The timing was good. And it was about a, a couple of months before, <laughs> it was a couple of months after you recommended this to me. We were doing the recording. But as I said, guys, if you got a good book, eventually we'll get to it. So that's it, guys. If you read the book, if you disagree with me, you think I didn't go deep enough or I didn't get the book because I always love your opposing opinions, let me know in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, I know I should do more book reviews, but it's just time. But I, I'm glad I read the book in this in this part of my life because TV, too much TV will rot your brain, guys. Pick up a book. <laughs> or you know what, check out some of the other books he spoke about in the playlist <laughs> and check out a good book for my recommendations and give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you on the next recording guys take care, peace out